Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 60 of Direwolf20's server play series. Uh, logged in today, wanting to get a bunch of work done. I promised to make a world anchor legit, and I just did, so hooray. Uh, I've also got a turtle and some computers and some wireless modems. I'm going to go make a uh, little GPS tower out in New Digger. Uh, hanging out on the server with Soren. Uh, I think he's the only one who's around at the moment who's not busy working on something. Because, you know, Soren, he doesn't do anything. Like, uh, I had to break to you, but you said 60. I think you're past episode 60. No, I'm not. This is episode 60. Really? Totally. Ah. Yep. Fantastic. Rarely do I know what I'm talking about, but in this particular instance... <laughs> just put this guy right here. That looks like a nice spot for him. Yeah. Beautiful. World anchor in position. Checking the chunk loading and all that. Looks like it's lots of purple sparklies going on. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to send my turtle up. So, I should have brought some fuel with me. I don't think I did. That's all right. I'll get some from somewhere. Um, what do I want to accomplish today? Uh, I want to work on this crazy quarry. Have you seen my, like, working quarry yet, uh, Soren? No. Oh, yeah, it does things. Getting some fuel for my turtle. He might even have fuel in him. I forgot. Now that um, when you name turtles, they like keep their fuel level. So he might even have fuel in there. I'm going to check actually out of curiosity. Oh. I'm yeah, going to make one of these things. All right. So I am currently at 77. That's faster than Billcraft. What's uh, world height? 255, right? Two fifty five is world height. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. Five, good. Six. I sent him up close to world height. Um, because I'm going to go build a GPS tower up there. And my plan is to use this computer uh, with some GPS ability. I should have made one more of these things, shouldn't I have? Yeah. Oh, well. I'll make another one. Uh, I'm going to need some GPS ability here to kind of figure out where in the world this thing is. Um, and maybe even use the go-to ability to control making this platform move. Um, you know, I can just have it, you know, move right like nine times if I want. Or I can say like, hey, go to this XY coordinate and it'll just make its way over there so if i wanted to move it like you know wherever over in that direction it would do it so that would be pretty neat um yeah i think that would be really neat actually uh i should determine if i want to run it off of the current position of the computer or maybe like you know on top of the center block or something i can just make this like the xyz coordinate it's just a little simple math to do that and figure out where it is in relation to that guy so um That'll happen. I also need to get the computer programmed in uh, such a way that it can actually like mine more than just that test thing that I wrote last episode. Um, but that shouldn't be too bad. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think those are the things we want to do. Also, one thing I want to do is try and write a program that'll determine the current position of um, this platform. Like what I could do if I really wanted to, and this might actually work out to be pretty well. Um, maybe throw a computer down here, right? Like just on the bottom. And then we know exactly where this platform is because we can like ask the computer that's down there, like, hey, where are you? And it'll be like, oh, I'm like, you know, at XYZ, this way, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, figure out where it is. So I can just use a computer down there to determine the current height of this thing and determine how far away it is from this computer. And then maybe, you know, have like a nice automated way to know how far I have to move my arm. So there's a lot of cool things we can do with GPS and computers and, uh, you know, the wireless redstone. Do you want to see it in action, Soren? Sure. All right, come check out my computer. See how that works? It's very simple. Not too shabby? No. Yeah. What's the command for this? The actual program? Ah. Cool. 
Here goes nothing. You ready? I'm just gonna uh -huh. do a simple for loop. Hopefully there's enough of these things in here. I don't even know that I checked that. Might not be. <laughs> That's alright. It'll keep running. Is that neat or what? It is. It's not sucking up any items yet because I actually like already went down a few blocks, mm -hmm. but like I told it to go further than I had already went. So um, I'm also thinking I might want to place some water source blocks on top of the you know frame head so that if it does like bump into some lava on the sides, it'll turn it into obsidian immediately. That might kind of work, right? Like if I position uh... the water source blocks properly on this, you know on the top of this thing, it should work out. But it won't be able to come back up. I think it will. Can't go through. Well, the last time I tried it, it's one, two pot, so I have no idea. Oh, we're out of uh, the frames right now. Also, we really need to get LRAM to fix this bundled cable bug because my deployer is going to fill up with bundled cable. <laughs> that won't be good. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what I'm going to do, actually? Uh, I'm going to say... Uh, why is Cobbleton going back down? It will bounce back down if the ender chest that's up here fills up, but it'll bounce back ah. up, like, as soon as it's done doing that. Like, you'll see it come back up. Don't worry. What happens oh, okay. is, like, it, if it mines, like, 20 blocks at once and there's, like, you know, 10 different right. ones, it'll just, you know, fill up the, the chest real quick and then bounce back. Yeah. You two being in here means there's mischief afoot. What's up, Ice Blade? Hey, what's up? Mischief here. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. That word up. I'm just uh, having fun with this nifty little quarry thingy I built. I wonder what happens if, like, there's actually, like, some items in the pneumatic tube when it breaks with the block breaker. That's a question for the ages. If it deletes the items inside, or if it sucks them into the block breaker too. I'm guessing it would probably suck them into the block breaker. Wait, it broke block wall. There's an item in the tube that's in. What? I guess I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. So what I'm going to do, YouTube, is write a couple programs real quick. Get some turtles set up. Get some GPS towers going. And I'll be back once I've done a little bit of the boring work and uh, have something exciting and interesting to show you guys. All right. See you in a few. All right, guys. Way up in the sky, I got a GPS tower going on up here. Uh, you can see it's doing its thing, hosting uh, GPS 171, 249, one below my feet, and negative 448. So nice little GPS tower ready to rock and roll. And then uh, if I fall all the way down, catch myself. Nice. And then, uh, yeah, we're pretty good. Uh, just need to now hook this guy up with a nice little GPS thing. And uh, th there you go. And I'm just going to real quick test it. GPS locate. And this guy should be able to, there we go. Nice. 170, 77, 448. 170, 77, 448. That is awesome. So now this computer knows where it is. Beautiful. Um, I think what I want to do, maybe I want to do this. Yeah, I kind of think I do. Let's go ahead and get another computer and set him up on the quarry arm thing and get that thing going and make a decision on how I want to get that thing brought up. So what I can do 
Real quick, just gonna get one of these things going. I've got some stuff in here somewhere. What's all that? User left your channel. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking here. I need some redstone. Just gonna real quick get one of these guys put together because I have a neat idea for determining the position of my um, quarry arm, like I mentioned last episode. Or no, I mentioned it earlier this episode. Yeah, that's what I meant. Cool. So one more of these computers. Just go on out here. And what I'm gonna do is set up a program that will constantly respond to requests that basically say like, hey, where are you at? Um, that's the basic gist. I'll say, hey, where are you at? And he'll say, I'm here. So let's do this. Uh, let's move this quarry arm down a little bit. Oh, and I also brought myself just a few more redstone tube frames, enough to go down to, you know, wherever. I could probably use maybe a dozen more, but that's good enough for now. All right, so where do I wanna put this thing? I'm thinking like just right here. I mean, it really doesn't matter where um, at all. I mean, actually, it kind of could matter a little bit. So I don't want it to bump into the stuff that's on the ceiling there. Like, I could probably put it, like, right here would be a nice spot. Sure, why not? Okay, computer, ready to go. There we go. GPS, locate. Ta-da! And the Y position is 73, okay? Now, if I bring this guy up a little bit, come on, dire arm up. Oh, you know what? I might, this is probably a separate block. Yeah, it is, see? It's a separate block. And oh boy, I crashed the server. And I am back, and rather saddened, because it looks like even though I tested this on single player, and there doesn't appear to be any problems with moving computers or turtles on single player, uh, it just doesn't want to happen on multiplayer. So, sad face, gonna have to alter this a little bit. Uh, it shouldn't be too big a deal though, I should be able to manage. Um, I reported the bug to Dan200 and his team, and we'll see what happens. But for now, I'm just gonna have to move this guy a little bit. So, uh, let's label him. Label set um, quarry control. That looks cool. And we'll just do this. So everything's here and ready to go. So quarry control computer is mine. We'll just move him somewhere like here. Like it's no big deal, right? It's not like the end of the world or anything. Um, and this guy, don't want to leave him laying around. I don't need a GPS or a wireless modem right now just because I can't do anything. Um, I had to get myself out of cheat mode. I was testing different things. You know, I tried putting a turtle down. That didn't work. I tried a bunch of different things to get it to move a, something that could receive a wireless signal, but no such luck. Um, so, oh well. I'm going to just tweak this back up. Uh, I think it was on the right, right? Yeah. So let's do this. Oh, there we go. Okay. I probably put this on the wrong side. Yes, left. All right, let's just do this. Uh, quarry, arm up. And as long as that works, which it did, we're in good shape. So everything's back to working. I uh, just needed to move my computer off this thing because that will not behave. Um, so, a little bit of a bummer, but don't worry, I will, uh, hopefully if that bug does get fixed, I can come back and revisit having computers on the frame, and then doing a little bit of GPS something or other magic, but for now, we'll have to see. So I'll be back in a few minutes once I come up with a slightly different plan. 
Alright guys, so, nice new program written, pretty quick and simple. It's just going to 73 times uh, move the quarry arm down and dig, and then once it gets all the way to the bottom, because 73 times will be the bottom, um, it's going to run the quarry arm up command just 73 times. So that's a nice, quick and simple program here that I uh, go ahead and written there. So let's do this. Save to dig, and we will run it now. Cool, nice and simple. Pretty easy. Not bad at all. So we're going to let this guy run, and he should go all the way down to bedrock. Now, I did mention something about water. Um, uh, i got to figure out a good way to do it. Not entirely sure how I want it to work. Like, there's a couple things I could do. You know, I could do. Let's terminate this program here. All right, reset the computer. All right. I want to test how water source blocks work on this thing because I would like a way to kind of block out and deal with water on this or like lava because if like this thing digs down and there's lava on the sides here like the block breakers will block it underneath but I don't want lava spilling onto the top of this thing so I'm going to deal with that with some water source blocks let's see do I have any iron on me here no and no cool let's go um, get myself an infinite water source and some buckets and maybe a couple other nifty gadgets because I have an idea I want to test this. Honestly, no idea if this is going to work or not. I'm pretty sure frames can move water source blocks, but got to test it. Because you know me, I test. Uh, let's go with just four buckets for now. That'll do. Like, I know I only need two, but I'm going to go with four. And I believe there's a water source area over here. Let's go with you. Beautiful. Let's get an infinite water pool over here. Oh boy, this is gonna be neat. If this works out the way I want it to, it's really gonna be neat. Because I have a neat design in mind for how I want it to work. And we're gonna see how well it goes. So, grab myself a little bit of infinite water. All right, let's place down the following. I've got in here some strips. Well, I don't have strips, but I have this thing that I can turn into strips. Cool. And I might go ahead and get more in a bit, so don't worry about that. But let's do this. Let's just do something like... Okay, you don't want to be there. You want to be here. Now, I might need to make these the marble things, like the full-blown whatchamacallits, but we'll see what happens. I'm just going to do this like this for now. Cool. So that is a nice little water source that'll sit right there on the edge. Now I want to see, I'm pretty sure because I'm using covers here, this isn't going to move. I need to use like the other things, but we'll see. Um, can I move this thing up? If I can't move it up, I'll know for sure it's not working right. Pretty sure it's not going to. Yeah, see, because it's covers, it's not going to work. So let's get this out of here. and replace this with these guys, the panels. That should work. I'm just gonna place it like right in the center here too. You, you, and you should have room for you now. Now will you move up? Ta-da! Water source block goes up. Awesome. So now what should happen is it should stick along on the sides there. Ooh, that's trouble, because when I get it out, it's just going to spill off the side, isn't it? That won't be cool. See, watch what it's about to do. Oh yeah, big mess. All right, back down arm. So how to deal with that being a mess? Like, it's not that big a deal. Like, it's not like it's going to hurt anything, but it's really just going to be a mess all over the landscape until I move the quarry arm back down. Hmm. Thoughts? Good question. Give me a few minutes to think it through. I have an idea. i just not sure I like the idea. All right. I tried a couple things, guys. If I wanted to make it overly complicated, I could probably do it. But even then, maybe a little tricky. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of how it would have to work out. Like, what if I 
just did this. I have an idea. Hmm. This actually might not be a bad idea. If I just placed a water source block here, it would go out to all corners, right? Yeah, that might work out. Ooh, yes. All right, give me a few minutes, guys. I have an idea that might work. Might be a little silly, a little overcomplicated, but you know, it's what I do. All right, what if I did something like this, where um, I got myself something cool and had a lever on my inventory so that this would actually work. There we go, good, I have one. And just did something like this, you ready? Will that work? Let's try moving this whole thing down. See how it settles down a little bit like that? Not too shabby. Now, what if I move it up? Ooh, even better. See how it cuts through and then it redeploys? All right, not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Um, because what I could do here, now if I put these guys, see, they're leaving the flowing water blocks behind and then the flowing water block is clearing itself. So what if I did this? Like, I'm just tweaking right now. Just, you know, bear with me. Like, I hadn't put down marble blocks. If I make these guys marble, then what? When you decide to move up and down, what do you do? Up. Oh, because this thing's in the way. All right, I'll just move down and it'll clear out. Um, there we go. See, it brings them down with it. That's kind of cool. Now up. Brings it with it as well. Ew, even fancier. I like it a little bit, I think. Yeah. Coming up with a cool plan here. Um, so what if we did this, right? And I put this on all four sides. I mean, is it necessary? No. But is it cool? I kinda, yeah. I think so. Alright, let's give it a try now. Going down. Boom. See how it kind of all stays along with it? Nice. And going back up. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Uh, I like everything about it. All right, so uh, I'm going to expand this and uh, do a little bit of fun with it. So give me a few minutes. I'll be back. All right, guys, this is just kind of making me laugh. It's one of those builds where it's like, I don't even know if this is really worth doing, but it's just kind of like a fun factor thing. So, you know, your mileage may vary on this being useful or not, but I feel like it's kind of funny and interesting. So I'm going to do it. Why not? I can always clear it out if I decide, you know what, this is ridiculous and a waste of, uh, you know, frame moving. Because I'm moving a lot more blocks now than I really need to. Like, I'm, I'm kind of getting to the point where I want to be a little conservative with how many blocks I'm moving. So is this necessary? Probably not. But then again, also, eh, kind of funny. So I'm going to call this uh, Dire Frame Water. Set the name, 507, uh, and then we'll do the same here, uh, 507. And I could have done this with a bunch of, uh, you know, redstone all around the outside here, but I figured, eh, this is just a little bit easier. So now if I pulse 507, what I should wind up with is a nice protective block of water all the way around the edges here. Uh, where are you at, pulse? Go. Ta-da! How neat. Why are you stopping right there? You should not be stopping right there. Neither should you. Oh, because you're there like that. Oh, okay, that shouldn't be a big deal. I don't think that'll create a source block there, right? Nah, it should be okay. Wasn't sure if that would create a source block, but I don't think it does on the edges. Nope, no big deal. And then to turn it off, just do this. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> All right. Ridiculous, yes, but also epic. All right, so now I'm going to come over what here. You, you want to come see? Here how I solved my problem? 
time with people momentarily. It's silly. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what do you have a linking book to my quarry? When you asked me to refill the batteries. Uh huh. Oh, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> well, I call it my water shield. <laughs> ah, it's spiffy. I'm screenshotting that. Just because. I'm going to want to get rid of this book. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice. Okay. Cool. I'm going to use it later and fall in a dark, dark hole. Alright, I'm going to do this. No, um, no, I don't need red net. What am I talking about? It is on the left. You know what? I'm gonna do this as a. I'm not even gonna save this. I'm just gonna do it this way. Yes, books drown. Okay. Cool. Ta da! Quarry water. Nice. That is spiffy. Is that cool or what? So, like, I can deploy the water shield before I head down, and then, you know, what I'll do is this. Okay. And what I could even do here, if I really wanted to, is... All right, so what this is going to do is it's going to move the thing down 10 times. So let's do this. Um, what I'll do is when I run the dig command, it's going to start moving down and then digging and down and digging and down and digging. Once it does that 10 times, it's going to deploy the water. Then it'll go all the way down to the end. Um, it'll retract the water and then bring the arm up. Works better on the server. Works nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, get out of there, because I'm about to retract the arm. How's Soren died? I will kill the train. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Dig. Block breaker. Block breaker. Why is this happening? It's moving faster than the water can update. Actually. I'm wondering if the redstone tubes underneath the deployers is causing this. I'm going to wager it is, and then I'm going to see if I can fix it. I need to fix this now because it's a little bit wonky. This becomes more trouble than it's worth. I'm just reversing it and just not doing it. I gotta love those moments.
I was afraid these things would create source blocks, but I didn't think they would. So what you're All right, guys, let I... me clean up this water and I'll be right back. All right, guys, reset the arm and ready to try this again. Go. Now, hopefully it won't be all derpy like it was a minute ago when deploying when it shouldn't have been. I don't think it is now. So we should get to the point where we've hit, um, you know, 10 movements. So far, that's been about three. Once we get to the 10th, we should deploy the water. And then it's going to dig all the way down and just send all the items up into the ender chest to be sorted in my main house, which will be neat. And then um, we'll kind of see how this goes. So almost at the 10th, I think, right? We're like two or three away from it. And it should pause for a second, too, when it decides to deploy the water, which will be good. There it goes. Nice. It's kind of cool. I like it. Water didn't deploy out to the edges all the way, but maybe I need a slightly longer delay. Not that big a deal. We'll see what happens. I mean, worst case, yeah, there we go. It, it catches up with itself. This is pretty cool. I'm going to let this go all the way down to bedrock, and then I'll be back. Well, guys, we're down about Y level 30. Yep, 28, and still going strong. You can see we're passing through some, like, you know, just regular caves. Oh, that's a creeper. Ooh. Get away from him. Uh, he's in water. He's good. And yeah, no, he's, no not. he's not. You broke my frame machine. <laughs> I know nothing. Obviously. That is rage. Total rage. We have the technology. All right. To do, fix frame machine. Be right back. Somehow I knew. All right, guys. Just a little uh, fixing up, and we're ready to go. So let's do this. All fixed. Yay. My bad. <laughs> you know what I want to do, actually? I want to change something here real quick. So let's reset this guy. He's running, but I wanted to change it just so that the dig command wouldn't go down 70 times. So I need to comment this out. And again, this is just because I'm testing. Uh, or no, not this. Keep this one in. Alright, so it should go down 20 more blocks, which will be bedrockish level. And away we go. And then when we get to the bottom, it should still pick up the water source blocks and from the quarry. center away from everything. Yeah. Don't break it again. So when we get down to about like 10 or... Well, when we get down to about, you know, 5 or 6 or maybe even 4, I don't know. It should just kind of stop, pick up the water, and then go all the way back up to the top. Nice color. Not too shabby. Why did we stop? Did we hit bedrock already? Uh... Might be. I'm guessing bedrock. We're, we're pretty close to the bottom. Yes. Cool. Should probably issue a sleep command after I pick up those water blocks. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see the bedrock down there as I fly away from it. Nice. <laughs> My screen keeps like phasing out when the area becomes dark and then white again when you move that. Yeah. <laughs> I have to deal with the water blocks that are on the quarry, but I'll deal with that in a bit. I'm thinking if I... Uh, I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to toy with it a bit. It might have gotten messed up when Soren blew it up. Might have gotten I a few extra sources in there. Obviously. It's all good, man. I'll fix it. Don't worry. One of the great things about Minecraft, everything is fixable. Yep. But
Well, guys, it definitely looks like we did some pretty good uh, bedrock hitting right here. That's pretty much why we got stuck. We hit bedrock. Not bad at all. I like this. This is really nice, actually. I think it works, like, uh, pretty well. Not bad at all. Now, I did adjust my uh, water thing a little bit. I think uh, my stuck water blocks were a result of moving the frame before the water blocks completely set or cleared. So what I did is I uh, just added a little bit of a sleep here. Um, when it deploys the water, it sleeps for two seconds. Just a little bit of a pause to let all the water clear out. And I'm going to test it right now um, by only moving the quarry frame down about, I don't know, let's say like a dozen times. So let's just move it down 12 and we'll have you deploy at 6. So halfway. And I'll rechange all these numbers in a minute. So dig. So after it goes down six times, it should deploy the water, and then we'll have like a good two second wait um, to make sure it has time for the water to, you know, go where it needs to go. And then we'll, you know, stop after 12. The water will be picked back up, and then the quarry arm will move back up. And we'll have about another, I don't know, a few second delay here. Should be good. Almost there, deploying water, perfect. Exactly what I wanted to see. Good long delay, make sure there's plenty of time for that water to, you know, do what it's supposed to do. Beautiful. See how nice and smooth everything is? Yeah, because what's happened is if the frame arm moves and there's like a half block of water there, or it's in the middle of clearing itself, it'll like stick in that state is kind of what was happening. So now in a moment we should see all the water clear, and again another two second delay, there it goes. And a nice long delay to make sure everything stays cleared up. Why did you guys not clear? That might have been a result of this thing being here, which is, you know, not a big deal. Probably wouldn't have happened in a real life scenario. A little bit more testing required, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's probably, probably this little tunnel's fault, which I just built just to check on things. Oh well. Not a big deal. I can clear this out manually. All right, I dub thee to be pretty well done. I'll be back in a few. And for the record, just tested this after covering up that wall and totally worked properly. So much better results there. So I'm gonna go adjust my numbers and make it work right. And with that, guys, I'm sorry to say, but we're totally past the wrapping up point of this episode, like way past. I got excited with my frame quarry thing and, you know, lost track of time as usual so let's go ahead and wrap up this episode so direwolf 20 signing off on episode 60 hope you guys enjoyed it and as always uh come back next time because now that i've got this whole thing running um i'm kind of okay with this whole frame arm thing i'm, I'm a little concerned i'm not gonna lie because i feel like there's items in this tube and then this guy moves up and the items that are in this tube are now up here, and the block breaker breaks it, and I might be losing items. I'm not sure if that's happening or not, but I'm a little concerned that might be happening. So I might wind up having this guy wind up down on the bottom of the frame, Corey, like just sitting on the bottom here for everything to go land in. And then just use normal frames uh, instead of uh, redstone tube frames as the up and down motion. But we'll see. I might... I might go change that between this episode and next. It won't be a big change. You won't be missing anything exciting, I assure you. Um, but yeah, going ahead and just tweaking this a little bit. I'll even make this like 15 just to make sure I've like gone decently far down. And then uh, bring this guy back up to 73 as well. So now we've got a nice program we can run. Um, it'll run remotely. Hopefully, like I said, that bug that I ran into, I can get that fixed. Uh, the one where, you know, things were broken. Yeah, hopefully we can get that guy fixed up because that would be really cool. Um, just to see, you know, the, the whole pneumatic tube thing and the computer craft thing. Computer crafts on frames, not working out too well right now for me. But like I said, going to talk to Dan200 and a couple of the guys on his team and see if we can't figure it out. So, episode 60, wrapping up. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and take it easy!